know you worship a scarab god in Egypt? He said, I'm going to bring forth uh, what are they called? Locusts and scarabs to bite you. And let's see if those gods can save you. There were no help. So now here we are in Isaiah. He says, ask your God to prophesy what will happen. None of these gods that we worship, I don't care what little religion you're in, have been able to tell us what happened to us as a people and what we must do to be liberated. Only in this book here tells us. Psalms for yourself. No, I'm going to go like this. Regarding those gods. Psalms 96, verse 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. He said all the gods of the nations are idols. He said he's the one to be feared. All these things that y'all worship, these other things, they're idols. They're idols. Now watch the next one. Deuteronomy. 32, 17. Now don't get mad. This is the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 17. They sacrificed unto devils, not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. You hear a prophecy that said you would worship new gods. You would worship gods whom your fathers knew not. And he called those gods devils. That's what the Bible says. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. Ooh. I'm here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Chinyo Rebias and Earth for the Independence of How are you? Very well, thank you, sir. You're welcome to me here. Thank you. Can we say we have IUC as a Christian movement? Uh, yes, the original Christians were Israelites. When you read Acts 11 26, it says the disciples were called Christians. Now, I'll say this regarding modern Christianity and biblical Christianity. In the Bible, the Christians kept what? The commandments. Modern Christians do not keep their commandments. That's the difference. We, as a Christian, you know what they teach us? The law is done away with, right? They say you don't have to keep the law. So, hands up, okay. Christian? You Christian? Okay. Christian women pretty much don't follow God's laws. Christian men. Christian? Anybody Christian men? They shake their beards off. They, I'm not keeping that. Little things we do, but we don't keep what the Bible says. Go ahead. Okay. Um, all right, sir. For the purpose of consignment, what do you want to achieve with this uh, briefing? And then give your message to the Nigerian church. Thank you very much. Okay. The Nigerian church. Okay. Watch that. I'm going to show you something. Give me Psalms 83. In Nigeria, how many churches do you have? Christian churches do you have in Nigeria? So many, right? Sir, so can we just have you because for the purpose of news for us, okay. each time you say that we have this, you know, you break the flow for us. Mm. So can oh, can we just have you answer without referring to the Bible? We know you believe in the Bible. But let's have a straight answer for our news. Okay. The reason I, I can't and we can't do it like that, but you know what people say? I'll give you an example in America. When we go on talk shows in America, they say, don't read from the Bible. It breaks the flow. So then I ask why? And then they say, because it will offend our Christian constituents. So I said, well, our objective is to show that the religions we're in is false according to the Bible. So I must use the book. If I just talk, you know what everybody here would say? That's what you say. No, but that's not what God says. That's when you're teaching, that's allowed. We are talking for news cap. We are going to write this story. And we'll put you on there. We can't have each time we have to make reference. Somebody reads and we come back to you. For news, you have two, three minutes to tell your story, sir. Make, so you make them. When you're teaching, it's understandable. Psalms 83. And verse 4, watch this. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Verse 3, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So now I'm answering a question. The Christian church of Nigeria is a part of crafty counsel. Because from the time of colonialism, what Britain did in America and many European nations 
They gave each of you a Christian group to belong to. That Christian group has divided you. God, what, when you read the Bible, what is the religion God gave us? He, he said, if you break my, he said to keep what and live. You remember what God tells us to do? Keep what? Keep his commands. Did he say keep my Mormonism or keep my Pentecostal or keep my Baptist? No. So those things that you're in are given to you by your colonial slave masters. You must come out of those things and come back keeping God's commands as the Israelites. That's what you must do to be saved. Okay, next question. My name is Demito Permusho, right for Blueprint newspaper. Uh, with what you have said so far, you've been able to challenge the foundation of our faith, representing to us our faith in a new light, especially those of us who are Christians, what we have either to believe, we are already having a kind of a review of it. Uh, in the course of your presentation, you showed us a, uh, some pictorial uh, evidences to back up your claim. And I want to find out what exactly is your source for those pictures because as it is known today, uh, photography itself did not start until late uh, 1830s in France. And you're talking about history that dates back centuries before then. So what is your source for those pictures that you have shown us? You're talking about the black pictures we showed? Yes. Okay. Go back. Can you pull the bar name? Okay, if the internet works, I believe we have the source on there. Uh, if any of you have access to the internet, if you type in the Varani Church, that was the, the main one we showed you today. And it, right, this is it here. Uh, if you go on the internet, they'll show you, and they'll show you that this was built back in the, I believe it's 1300s in Romania, somewhere around there. So if you, all you gotta do is Google it. This is an actual building. Cathedral that was built during the Dark Ages, before Renaissance era. So that was one of our sources. Now, give me one with the Black Angels. Uh, no, no, flip, flip. I want the one. Oh, oh, go back, go back. Okay, does this have the book in it? This, okay, yes. this book was the called the Icons. I just remember the name. Give me the one with the white guy painting the image. I'm going to give you the name of our source on this one. Oh, okay. This one here is a photograph. The name of the book is Russian Icons, put together by Father Vladimir V L A D I M I R Ivanov I V A N O F. This book costs about a uh, hundred dollars. So, and they show you photographs of what Europeans are doing to black images. So, those were two sources. You got. Them? Those are two. So you can buy the books yourself. All right. Oh, and the one about uh, go back to the, the, the with the red letters that shows the Israelites in Africa. Go back. I don't know if you got you know the one I got here. Oh yeah, yes. yes, yes. I want to show you this other book. One second. Come on. The Africa, Africa. You got it? You got it? Okay, any day now? Uh, okay, alright. Can we cover the book? Alright, remember this one. This was uh, this book was uh, put together in 1930 by Duke University. Uh, Alan H. Gabby, Ph.D. Uh, the Lost Tribes of Myth, Suggestions for Rewriting Hebrew History. Go inside. Next page. Duke University got a, a group of scholars together, or researchers. Come on. And, this, and inside the book, they give you a map of where the Israelites are scattered throughout Africa. And this is hidden. This book costs $1,400 U.S. So they put things in books for their scholars so that the average black man and black woman, we would never think about ever buying books like this. That's for their people. But guess what? We're gonna work and work and work and get the money and we're gonna get the book. And we're gonna bring it out to you so you can see it. 
Okay, so this was a very good one too, so y'all should get that one also. So you got three sources I gave you. Okay, all the captains, we we don't have a woman here. I'm uh, uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay, my name is Dr. Christie. I work for Google African TV. So you said so much that uh, you've got to be really, really concerned about my belief. I'm a Christian. But I want to ask you one question, because I'm a Christian. You don't talk about the Holy Spirit. You always talk about the word as the uh, Israelites, and that's what you said. You don't talk about the Holy Spirit. And you said we have, we are taking it to slavery. Um, the white people have taken our position. We need to, are we, are we going to go back? How are you going to regain us back to our positions? If you know we are not ourselves, or we go into slavery, which we didn't do by our own power, but how are we going to get back to ourselves where God has really put us? Do you understand? Yeah. So, and your belief, what about the Holy Spirit? Because if you're talking about the image of Christ, you give us a black man image and a white image. We as Christians, we don't even believe in that image for instance. We're not taking it seriously because we have a conviction in Christ. We know Christ inside of us, it's not the image. So if you said, if you say that the, 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 if they can deceive us in the image, what about the message? So are you saying that the Bible should be checked again? We should not believe everything in the Bible? So thank you, that's my word for that. Very good, okay. So she said quite a lot. The Holy Spirit, uh, am I saying believe everything in the Bible? Yes, everything in the Bible is true. But the thing that we're challenging is your colonial masters who taught you the Bible. I'll give you an example. Let me, uh, okay, you're a Christian, right? The, the Holy Spirit has guided you to celebrate uh, the birth of Jesus, Christmas, right? If the Holy Spirit has forbidden Yeah, do you celebrate Christmas? I yes, sir. I enjoy his Christmas. Okay, she said, okay. Give me, there Okay, many Christians, I want you to listen. Watch this, listen good. Uh,